Hi, it's Jess from Jesslyn Art, and today I'm going to show you how to make this multi-line brush. So I'm starting with a blank square canvas, and the size that I'm using is 12 inches by 12 inches uh, with 300 dpi. You can use any size canvas as long as it's a square. I recommend the bigger, the better quality you'll have. I'm going to go to my color picker and choose pure black. You can check if it's pure black by checking the value and making sure the hexadecimal is six zeros. I'm going to select the monoline brush from the calligraphy brush set that comes with Procreate and I'm going to draw a circle, hold my brush in place and then tap with one finger to make it a perfect circle. But we need to fill it in so I'm going to take my black color and color drop it in so that it fills the entire circle. To center my circle I'm going to tap the arrow, make sure uniform is selected and that snapping is turned on. And I'm going to make my circle a little bit smaller and then I'm going to center it, making sure that the yellow lines show up so that I know it's the center of my canvas. And now I want to duplicate the circle. So I'm going to swipe right on that layer and tap duplicate. And then there we go. And then I'm going to take that circle and move it up to the edge of my canvas. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit over here and make sure it just touches the edge of my canvas. And then I'm going to duplicate that bottom layer again and I'm going to then move it down to the bottom. So now we have three circles in a row all lined up along the canvas. To copy these circles I'm going to swipe down to bring up the copy and paste menu and then tap copy all. And now we're going to start making our brush. And to do this I'm going to tap on the open the brush menu. I'm going to scroll to the top all the way to the top create a new brush set and I'm going to call it multi-line because we're making a multi-line brush and I'm going to tap the plus sign to create a new brush. I'm going to go to my shape source and currently there's just a white circle but we want to put our little three circles there so I'm going to tap import, paste and you'll see that it's black circles on a white background but we actually want white circles on a black background so I'm going to tap with two fingers to invert, tap done and now we're going to change some settings. So I'm going to turn rotation all the way up until it says follow stroke and then I'm going to go to the Apple Pencil setting and turn the opacity until it's at 0% because we want it to be all the same opacity all the way through. I'm going to take the spacing setting and I'm going to turn that down a bit because we don't want to have any bumps and if you if the spacing's too high you'll see bumps in your in your line. Under properties I'm going to turn the maximum size all the way up and I'm also going to turn off orient your screen. This is really important if your brush looks kind of weird, make sure that orient your screen is off. I want to add some details about my brush so under about the brush I'm going to say that I made it and type in my name here yeah, so that people know that I created this brush. I'm also going to add my logo, this is very important if you want to sell your brush. So I'm just going to select my logo from my photo gallery and then I'm going to name my brush and I'm going to call it a triple line brush because that's what it is. So I'm just going to type in triple line and then I'm also going to set a reset point. This is really important again if you want to sell your brush so that if anybody changes your brush they will be able to reset it to the original settings. And those are all the settings so let's tap done and test our brush out. I'm going to choose a peach color and I'm going to turn the size up and let's test out our brush. You can see that there are three lines now whenever we draw and you can really create some cool designs with this brush. I've got a lot of TikToks you can check out. One last thing I see that I do want to change is the stabilization. So I'm going to just edit my brush and I'm going to turn up the streamline amount till about 80% just so that the line is a little bit smoother when I'm drawing and it's a little bit easier to draw these like curvy shapes. If you like these brushes, I've got a set of 10 multi-line brushes where you can get up to 10 lines in one set. And you can check that out on my website or the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.